السلام علیکم آئی ایم نیلما گل فرام دا لرنرس ہائی اسکول مائی ٹاپک از جیوگرافی آف پاکستان جیوگرافی آف پاکستان از اے ویری واسٹ ٹاپک اینڈ اٹس ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو سم اپ ان فیو سلائڈس سو دیٹس وائی مائی مین فوکس ویل بی آن ہائی لینڈس آف پاکستان Before moving towards our main topic, you should be knowing what is geography. Geography is the study of earth and its people. And the people who study geography are called geographer. Geographer are interested in the physical features of the earth such as desert, river, sea, mountain. and they always try to understand the world and the things are present in it and how the things are started and how they are changed now here is little bit description about geography of pakistan pakistan is situated in the western part of the india subcontinent what does it mean western part of the india subcontinent actually before the independence india subcontinent was having three countries pakistan india and bangladesh after independence indian subcontinent was divided into three countries pakistan انڈیا اینڈ بنگلہ دیش اینڈ پاکستان گاڈ ویسٹرن پارٹ آف دا انڈین سب کانٹیننٹ لک ایٹ دا امیج ان دس امیج یو کین سی نیبرنگ کنٹری آف پاکستان آن دا ویسٹ سائڈ افغانستان اینڈ ایران آن دا ایسٹ سائڈ شیئرنگ بارڈر ود انڈیا Look at on the north side, north side Pakistan sheer border with China. On the south, south side you can see the blue patch, that blue patch shows Arabian Sea. Means in the south side we sheer border with Arabian Sea. Now physical division of Pakistan. Generally, we can classify Pakistan into four major physical parts which are mountains, plains, plateaus and deserts. Our main focus will be on mountains. Now our main topic is mountains of Pakistan or either highlands of pakistan we can call it highlands of pakistan we can also call it mountains of pakistan there are three distinct mountain ranges northern mountains northern western mountains and third one is western mountains basically this is important slide and our main topic In this topic in the northern mountain we will study about Karakoram ranges and Himalayas ranges we can also call it Himalayas and Himalayas both are correct pronunciation but in this lecture we will use Himalaya now in Himalaya ranges there are three subtypes according to their height greater himalaya lesser himalaya third one is sub himalaya in the northern western mountain we will study about hindu kush in the third western mountains we will study about safed ko ranges waziristan hills Suleiman and Kirtar ranges Now in this image uh, you can see 
northern mountains in the first image in the Pakistan map on the northern south the white patch shows Karakoram and Himalayas ranges and in the second image that is a clear image of Karakoram and Himalaya ranges now mountains of Pakistan in mountains of Pakistan first we will study about northern mountains in northern mountains we will study Karakuram range what does Karakuram means Karakuram means black stone it is believed to be the northwestern extension of greater Himalayan's mountain system what does it mean means according to geographer they think they believe that Karakuram is the extension of Himalayan mountains and they cover borders with three countries which three countries that is Pakistan India China and they make borders at which region that is Gilgit Baltistan in Pakistan, Ladakh in India, and Xinjiang in China. What's the range of Karakuram? The range of Karakuram is that is basically the extreme north of Pakistan, and its average height is 6,100 meters. These mountains are covered with glaciers throughout the year and it's the home to the most dense collection of highest peak to be found anywhere on earth. And Karakuram has highest mountain peak in the Pakistan and it has the second highest mountain in the world. As I told you in the previous slide, Karakuram is having highest mountain peak. That is K2. K2 is also called Mount Godwin Austin. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world. Do you know what's the highest mountain in the world? Yes that is mount everest mount everest is the highest mountain in the world and luckily k2 is the second highest mountain in the world and pakistan is blessed with this and k2 is the part of the karakuram range extending from the himalayan range it is located on the bordering parts of northern areas of Pakistan and China. In 1856, an European team, they came to the Pakistan. They were the first people who climbed on K2. And a member of this team named as Montgomery he give name to this mountain that is K2. Now the second part of Northern Himalaya, the second range, we are done with the Karakuram. Now the second range is that is Himalaya. Himalayas, as I told you, and Himalaya. Both pronunciations are fine. Now, Himalaya means that is it's, it's the home of snow. Because the tallest peak of the Himalayas are always capped with snow. Capped with snow means they are covered with snow. Himalaya mountain stretches from India, Bhutan, China, Afghanistan 
and Pakistan. Northwest border of the mountain Hindu Kush and the north by the Karakoram. As I told you, the Himalaya mountains is having three types. But these three types is according to their height. Sub Himalaya, it height is 600 to 1200 meters. Second is Lesser Himalaya. Lesser Himalaya height is 1800 to 4600 meters. Greater Himalaya's height is more than 4600 meters. Now, according to their location, Sub Himalayas. The southern range in Rawalpini district is the Seva Lake or Sub Himalayas. It means it lies in Rawalpindi district that is in Seva Lake. Now, Lesser Himalaya. In Pakistan, these mountains lies in the north of Rawalpindi district. It covers the district of Badgram, Mansera, and Aptabad, and as well as Pakistan administration, Kashmir. And Lesser Himalayas are the home of Pakistan important hill station. That is Mari, Goda Gali, Natya Gali. Greater Himalayas. Its location is between Pir Panjal Range and the Karakuram Range. Greater Himalayas lies in the Kashmir and their peaks are covered with the snow throughout the year. In Kashmir, there is a mountain that is Nanga Parpat and its height is 8126 meters. And Nanga Parbath lies in Kashmir and is the second highest peak in the Pakistan. So what is the highest peak in Pakistan? That is K2. K2 is highest peak in the Pakistan and second highest peak in the Pakistan. What's that? That is Nanga Parbath. We are done with Northern Mountains. Now we'll move to Second one, that is Northern Western Mountains. In Northern Western Mountains, we will study the Hindu Kush. Now, what's the location of Hindu Kush Mountain? Hindu Kush lies between the border of Afghanistan and China and meets on Pakistan's north and northwest border. Now, Hindu Kush is having two highest peaks. The first one is Tijmir. Its height is 7,690 meters. And Tijmir is located in Chatral. And as I told you, it is the highest peak of Hindu Kush ranges. Now, second one is Noshak. Its height is 7,484 meters. It is the second highest peak in the Hindu Kush. And as I told you that these are the highest mountains. So these mountains are also covered with snow throughout the year. We are done with the second one mountain as well. Now we'll move to the third one. That is Western Mountains. In the Western Mountains, first we'll discuss Safed Ko ranges. The Safed Ko or, or White Mountain ranges lies at the Pakistan and Afghanistan border. Safed Ko is also called Kohe Safed. Why it's called Kohe Safed? Because these mountains are often covered with snow. And it range up to 4,761 meters above sea level. Now next one is that is Waziristan Hills. Why we are not calling 
it mountains why hills what's the difference between mountain and hills that is basically mountains are heighted than hills hills are shorter in height as compared to the mountains Waziristan hills it is located between Kuram and Gomal rivers and Waziristan hills they are highly mineralized zone means we can found a lot of minerals in this zone now the third and last topic of western mountains that is Suleiman and Kirtar ranges their location they are located toward the west of Indus river the Suleiman mountains are located in northern Balochistan and Zabal province of Afghanistan and Kirtar ranges Kirtar mountains are located in Sindh and Balochistan. The average height of these ranges is that is 1500 meters. And Suleiman, Suleiman mountain range has highest peak as well. That highest peak is called Takht Suleiman. And its height is 3383. This is all about this topic. We are done with our highlands or mountains. I hope you are all are clear with this topic. Now there are some self-analysis questions. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the lecture.